let's make an oversimplified territory map and one of his battle maps. I'm going to be recreating these scenes to show you how to do it. The first one starts in DaVinci Resolve, where you'll need to import the whole world Land and Oceans map and then head into the Fusion page. Drag in a background node and then change its colour. Next, click on the Polygon tool and start outlining your country. It doesn't need to be perfect because we can always adjust it later and we will cover the edges with a thick border anyway. Continue this until you've outlined the whole thing. To adjust the points, press Ctrl and drag the handles. Now we can add a white border. With the merge node selected, press paint to add it in front of our background. Now come over to the inspector on the right. Adjust the brush shape to solid and lower its size. Then go to the top of the media window and press polyline stroke. This will allow us to easily draw a border and like before it's adjustable so you can move it around and change the size at any time. Follow the country's border to finish it up. Now to get it looking like oversimplified, just select the merge node and lower the blend setting to about 0.7. This is looking pretty neat and we just have to continue these steps until we have a whole territory map. Now let's recreate this scene. First I'll draw out the static countries like before. Then I'll add a background and a polygon node before drawing the first position. Next, add another paint node to get the moving border. Keyframe both of these positions and then move the playhead. Adjust the points to the second stage and then keyframe them again. You can smooth out this movement in the spline section, but make sure you apply the same effect to each so they match up. Moving on to the next part, we want to make a simple battle map. And to do that, we need an illustration software. Make your canvas 4K to avoid it being pixelated and then pick a background colour. If you want it to look like a map you've seen before, you can use this button to select a screen colour. Use the bucket tool to fill the background. You've probably also noticed, oversimplified maps have a bit of colour blending, so it's not just the same shade of green. Adjust the colour settings and use a low hardness brush to add this effect. You can use Ctrl Z to correct any mistakes. Now we have a base, we want to layer up the image with roads, rivers and trees. But before that, we should add a faint shadow underneath to give them a better contrast. Pick a darker shade of green and then lower the force and hardness of the brush. Make a new layer and then select the path tool to trace out the rivers and roads. Create separate paths if your roads are different sizes. Next, press stroke path to give yourself a faint outline. Now make a new layer for the road. Lower the brush size and choose two colors. Hit the same button again. Once you're done, reduce the brush size and stroke path with the other colour. Now it looks outlined, which is what we were after. Finally, create a new layer for the rivers and then use the same method to paint them on. The last assets to add are trees, which you can draw on or import as an image. You can then animate the map with units, which I covered in this video.